touchdown Buzzer beater, do it all now, all now Top corner, talk at home run Touchdown, buzzer beater, do it all now, all now Top corner like, ooh, all in Lit the fire when you doubt it, now I'm all in Put me with the best, bring the stars in Undefeated mode, no fault Welcome back boys. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to build an insulated battery box for your lithium ion batteries. Now, lithium batteries can be discharged in almost any temperature, but they have to be above freezing in order to charge them. Typically, that's not a problem if you have a real house or like something like that, but we just have a solar shed. When we're not here, it is not heated. So that means that they likely would not charge until midday or maybe later in the day when the shed heated up due to the sun. To avoid this situation, I'm gonna show you how to build a programmable heater that you can control remotely from your phone or anywhere in the world with a Wi-Fi connection. I'm also gonna show you how to build an insulated battery box. All right, before we get into this, I do wanna say this is a sponsored video by Okmo Tech. They provided me two 200 amp hour batteries that are not self-heating. Prior to this, three years ago when I built everything, including this solar system and everything, I was sponsored by a different company called Ampere Time, which then immediately rebranded as Lie Time. They provided me two 200 amp hour self-heating batteries, and you know, it seems like a really good idea, but I have regretted that decision ever since because they have been nothing but problematic. You can go on the do-it-yourself solar forum and type in Ampere Time or Lie Time, and you're gonna find a lot of posts very frustrated with the self-heating batteries they offer. I'm not sure why, but the battery management system in those batteries is not good. It almost like starts to take power to try to heat up the batteries, but then it stops and then the charger gets confused. It also has random voltage drops. These batteries can be fully charged and they'll just randomly drop to like seven volts. Here's a photo of a screenshot I took from my Victron system showing you what I'm talking about. Now there is no reason this should be happening. I think these batteries were shipped with a flawed battery management system and I cannot recommend them. I'm not gonna trash that company. Maybe they make better batteries now or maybe the non-self-heating batteries are fine. I'm just gonna let you guys know that I'm always gonna be providing my honest opinion on products that are being shared with me here. I'm not gonna be trying to sell you anything. I'm just gonna be trying to share my experience and hopefully we can learn from it. I am gonna get you a discount code for these batteries though because I think they're pretty good. 200 amp hours of lithium power here. What we need to do before we build a battery box is get both of these batteries at 100%. And right now it's sunny, so they'll charge pretty quick because lithium charges crazy fast. There's a shot of the battery. Look at those graphics. It does have low temperature charge protection, which is good. So here's the setup right now. We have a Victron MPPT 15045, an inverter and a Servo S for connection along with a smart shunt. The wiring is a little wonky right now, but we're gonna fix that pretty soon here. Now this battery, I just checked with my phone, is at 100% charge. So what we're basically gonna do is just unplug everything and then plug in this battery to charge it up. So it's been a few days. This one is also now charged to 100%. This one was at 100% a few days ago. So now what we're gonna do is get rid of the old batteries and install the two batteries in parallel. So we're not doubling the voltage, it's still a 12 volt system, but they are both at 100% and they should stay pretty well synchronized since we're starting them off at the same charged amount. All right, it's been a bit. I'll show you guys what's going on. I also finished the wall here and added an outlet right near these batteries. That's going to be so we can control these seed starting mats. These are pretty low power, but they're to put like seedlings on to keep them nice and warm. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna put seed starting mats on both sides of these batteries, tape them on there good. Then we're going to insulate the batteries and build a box around them so that it contains the heat. Then all we're gonna do is run these things for 30 minutes in the morning, that should automatically make the batteries nice and toasty so they accept a charge. So one thing to note, this wall is insulated. So is that wall and so is the floor a little bit. So basically this battery box is just gonna be three sides. It's gonna be this side, this side and a top. And we're just gonna insulate that and rely on the insulation from the rest of the building to insulate these things. So I didn't record building this because I wasn't really sure what I was doing and I was making it up as I was going. But this is what we got, it's basically just a frame here with a foot. I did that just to stay away from the outlet in that area. All right. 
right, boys, we have a battery box that is almost done here. I just used plywood on the top here instead of two by fours. And then I did notch this back corner just to get around the smart shunt. I don't really feel like redoing the wiring right now. And I can always change the top of this later if I want to. Right now, we need to insulate it quick and then we will start wiring in the heaters. We have a ton of random scraps of insulation and I'm just going to fill the cavities of the frame and then line it in Reflectix. Well, there we go. She's not perfect, but I think we're gonna see how it does before we do anything else. So time to install it. And then we're gonna monitor the temps overnight tonight. Tomorrow, I'm gonna finish hooking up that outlet and then I'll show you guys how to program that to come on every morning. Now, this is my solution to remotely controlling the heat. We have this BN link smart outlet. We have a splitter and then I've got the two cords for these seed starting mats. So Sarah here is the expert on this BN smart link, but she's going to show us how to program this real quick to come on from eight o'clock to eight thirty every morning. So it has to be plugged in first. Do you care which outlet? Nope. Okay. So I already have loaded it in as one of my options. So now I can click my I can either just do power on, power off manually with this button, or I can set the timer down here. And what did you want it as? Uh, from 8 a.m. to 8.30 every morning. I have to do, click all the days. That's, so that's on, save. And then when I want it off, change that to 8.30. And you can actually have it come on multiple times a day, which I thought was pretty interesting. So now, for instance, if I wanted it to come back on at 9 p.m. or something like that, like I could keep adding that, but I'm actually just going to delete that one later. All right. So because we can remotely monitor the temperature, this is going to be our start settings. I think it'll be fine because all these things need to do is get just above freezing and then they will start taking a charge. So why don't we, why don't you plug that in there? It's like a USB port. You never get it right the first two times. All right. Here we are. So now we're just going to tweak the foam on this box to get it to sit a little tighter. And we're going to see how it goes remotely when we're not here. Hopefully it works. All right. So I made sure I didn't have foil near the terminals. And then I've added some foam weather stripping just to the sides here so that when I compress it on there, it should get a little better seal. All right, there we go. Finished product. We have an insulated battery box insulated on all six sides using the insulated walls for two of them. And then we have a programmable easy way to heat these batteries in the morning. Uh, in the summer, we'll probably just turn that off because why bother? So hopefully you learned something from this. Please check out Okmo batteries. All right, boys, sorry about that. My SD card got corrupted, so my whole outro was cooked. I hope you guys learned a bunch in this video. I've never built an insulated battery box. It's been working really well, and also the Okmo batteries have been fantastic. Now, again, they did sponsor this video, but I'm very happy with the batteries so far. They have over 20 different types of battery management protection. They're kind of smaller and lighter than a lot of the other batteries on the market. Now, they offer a ton of batteries for all sorts of different applications. They've got batteries for kayaks and marine applications, off-grid applications, golf cart batteries, all sorts of stuff, campers, RVs, all that stuff. They have things in 12 volts, 24 volts, 36 volts, and 48 volts with a ton of different capacities. And most importantly, they are very competitively priced please check out their website right here. They are running a bunch of specials right now. You can also get their batteries on the Amazon store, but I would check out their website first because sometimes they have discounts on the store on their site that are not on Amazon. Also worth noting, all these batteries come with a five year warranty. So please check them out. Thank you, Okmo, for sponsoring this video. You are powering my life out West and making my dreams come true. Very much appreciate you guys. All you viewers out there, please give them a look. Till next time, dudes. Home run, touchdown, buzzer beater, do it all now, all now. Top corner, talking home run, touchdown, buzzer beater, do it all now, all now. Top corner, like all in. Lit the fire when you doubt it, now I'm all in. Put me with the best, bring the stars in. Undefeated.
the mode, no falling. Hey you, hey down there, see you stop and stare.